All right, before we go on to the next chapter where we look at analog input and lighting the LED using an analog input from a sensor, what needed to be answered was why use a microcontroller? Okay, so if I'm able to light the LED just by pressing this button, why all these wires and why all this code and why did we have to like go to the Arduino unit and write this, this if statement? And I'm going to try to answer that as easily as I can, but um, really it comes natural later on. The one event of me pressing this button to turn on this LED comes pretty easy via code. That's an event. But I triple dog dare you to take this multiple LED or the RGB LED and stick it up here and make it blink. Well, wait a minute. That one's kind of harder to put inside the um, breadboard <laughs> without looking. So I'm going to say, I triple dog dare you to uh, just take a normal LED and put it up here and make it blink without adding any more components into the mixture. Components, what are those? Well, transistors are components, relays are components, resistors are components. How would I make this one blink and this one just go on and off via the switch with the same switch? Well, you could do that with a microcontroller, but if you were to do it without a microcontroller, you would need a bunch of transistors hooked up in line so that the power hit them just right. And then you would need some capacitors to fill and drain in order to get this to blink. All right. But we don't need any of that because we have a microcontroller. And that's what your job is, is to write code to make events happen like that. So a microcontroller takes away the, the components needed or the component aspect of ele electronics. Also notice that um, this, <laughs> this resistor wasn't in uh, the couple videos. I just put that in place and nothing happened. The LED didn't blow up, you know, Hiroshima didn't go off or anything like that. And the answer to that is, is because, you know, when you're, you, when you're coming off a digital right here, this current is not high enough to blow an LED. Okay. It's good practice to have a resistor in place, but really it's unnecessary. As you go through the series, I'll have a resistor there. I'll put a resistor not there. I keep you on your toes with the resistor but know that anytime I'm going digital out to uh, an LED or something that can handle um, a current, I usually, you know, just let fate decide. Now, not all LEDs can handle that, mind you. So if you have a crappy LED that you pulled out of the drawer at Radio Shack, sometimes those little guys can't handle any of the power or any of the current whatsoever. So in that case, you will n definitely need a resistor and you should watch the video about Ohm's law that I have. All right. So that's the uh, answer to why use a microcontroller. So you can control many events without having a lot of components. Hope that helps. And let's now move on to the next chapter.